I'm David Hall with National Instruments. I'm one of the RF marketing managers here, and so uh, I guess welcome to NI Week. Yeah, so we're at NI Week. So tell me what kind of trends you've been seeing uh, in the show. What do you think is the most important things going on right now? Well, one of the things I think that's that's been going on that we've seen is, is really the growth in wireless. You know, we in the keynote today, we had a lot of people talk about the exponential growth in number of units and number of standards and types of customers that are using wireless. Um, and there's been a big focus on the in industrial Internet of Things, and a lot of those applications are using uh, wireless technology. So let's talk a little bit about the industrial Internet of Things. I, I, not a lot of people think about that. It's, yeah. all, the, it's all the wearables and yeah. stuff, but this could be actually more important yeah. and all of that stuff because it's got applications beyond yeah. that. Just tell me a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, exactly right. So I've talked to a bunch of customers. You know, I was talking to a guy from Analog Devices a few days ago, and he was working on an application um, where he's got um, sensors in a cornfield to work on getting better tomato growth, which is crazy. And, and the thing that I think that's interesting about the industrial Internet of Things, so you get that from, from that to farms to tractors to smarter factories. And to me, the interesting thing about it is that when you look at the total volume of Wi-Fi or wireless devices in the industrial inter Internet of Things, a lot of the analysts are projecting that that will be almost as big as the consumer IoT by like 2025. Which, I mean, we don't expect, right? We're not building factories. Yeah. We're mainly consumers. Um, but that's actually driving a lot of the needs in test equipment. I think um, one of the big innovations that we're going to see is, is a lot of technology to figure out how to better use the data. Um, and we, we see that on our products, right, with, with smarter ways of, of you know, tools like DDM to sort and test and search for data. And then also we're seeing it um, with tools like um, Optimal Plus, which I think they talked yesterday in the day one keynote, where they're talking about using data from a semiconductor test system and feed that into the manufacturing process to get smarter about how you're testing a device. So a lot of that is about the big analog data, how you store it, how do you organize it, and of course, how do you use it um, to make smarter test systems.